What's up guys? Thanks so much for coming back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a Goodwill haul for you guys. Um, I got this about a week ago at Goodwill and I paid an average cost of $3.85 per item. Um, a lot of things were the half off color and a lot of this stuff I already have listed and a couple of things have already sold. So if you see anything you're interested in, feel free to leave a comment or you can find me on Poshmark at Retroed by Destiny. This first thing I got is just a t-shirt that says thankful on it. Um, doesn't even have a size tag or a brand. I'm just going to wear this myself, so that's nothing too exciting. I'm going to lay this up here so that way I can wash it. And I already had this laid out in the wash before I started the haul, so um, you'll see something in the middle there. That's some stain treatment. This is Columbia. Um, I don't pick up all Columbia, but it's this really fun dress, like a fishing dress, and it's got PFG on the back. The men's shirts do well for me, so I thought I'd try out a dress, and this one was not half off, so I think it was, I don't know what it was now, but it's average in my cost of goods to $3.85. Um, I bought this for my baby. Um, I'm going to let him wear it. It's from the Disney store, and it's three to six months. It's just a little Tigger onesie, and the belly is really soft and has Tigger's tail on the back. He's growing so fast, I think he might only get to wear that once before it's too small so I may be able to sell it before Halloween this is a skirt um it is camouflage knee length and I it's banana republic factory but I got it because it's a size 14 and this is one of the things that's actually already sold it sold on Mercari today um I just listed it this morning I think or last night and it's already sold for $20 on Mercari plus shipping so I'm pretty happy with that this dress is a brand um, that looks kind of expensive. I don't know. It was half off at Goodwill. It's 100% silk. It's a size 12. I thought it was in perfect condition. However, I was rushing at Goodwill. And I failed to notice all these missing beads. Um, I've already listed it. It's really hard to see because of the pattern unless you just know you're looking at missing beads. So maybe someone can fix it up. I don't know. I don't usually sell a lot of dresses. I just had some extra time at Goodwill because my mom was kind enough to take my kids and let me be at Goodwill for like two hours by myself. So I looked in about every department. Next, oh, I'm sitting on this string here, is I'm not sure. I've never found Max, Max Mara, but it has like an apostrophe S. So I think this is some kind of diffusion line. Let me know if you know. Um, it's a black like midi dress. It's a size extra large and it's fully lined. It says made in Italy. So I thought I'd give it a try because this one was half off. And dresses at my Goodwill I think are $7 or $6.99. So if they're half off they're only $3.50. So worth a shot. This is by Airy, which is like American Eagles like lounge uh, intimates line kind of thing. But they also have other clothes and this is a Really pretty maxi skirt. It's a size extra large. It's already got a lot of attention, especially on Facebook Marketplace and Mercari, so hoping that'll sell well. This is the other thing that's already sold. This is Lauren Ralph Lauren, size small, and it's a linen cotton blend sweater with a canoe on it. Now, I've seen some of these listed for like $100 on eBay. But then the solds are just not there. So I listed mine for 50 and on Mercari right away I got an offer for 38 And I just took it because they're also paying $10 shipping because this is really heavy. I had to use the five pound label on Mercari. I probably could have got away with four, but it's charged the same, so might as well. So that's going out already. I'm excited about that. Next is, I got this just because it was kind of fun. It's a Disney Store Donald Duck zip up. It's a little bluer than it looks in the camera, but here's the tag. It's a size large. And I know people who like certain Disney characters really like them, like Mickey or Minnie or Donald. So hoping to get maybe 25 for that. This is Nike Golf with Tiger Woods collection. Um, it's just a, a polo for golf. It's got like the dry fit moisture wicking and then it has the Tiger Woods logo on the back. And usually when you find these, they have some kind of business on them, but this one didn't, so. I have listed that one, I think, for 35 but I'll take offers on it. This is an anthropology brand. I think this is pronounced 11 or 11s, but I'm not really sure. They're a size 8. 
They're like these fun pants and they got elastic in the back. They're a really fun print and then they have that fun detail at the cuff where it's like knotted. They do have a hole I didn't notice. Thankfully my aunt can sew like an angel. They're kind of right in the crotch. So I did photograph these but I'm going to have her sew that up before, hopefully before I sew them. Okay, next we have a bra and I love to sell bras. They're a quick mover for me, um, especially plus sizes. I don't usually buy regular sizes unless it's a really good brand. Um, this one just looks like this, nothing too crazy. Um, the brand is called Wacol and I do really well with Wacol. This one, this tag's kind of faded, so it's hard to see. I do really well with Wacol and Cacique, especially in the plus sizes usually around $20. And the good thing about Wacol is right under the brand, oh, it's really hard to see. Right here, there's a number. You can type that in and it'll tell you what type of bra this is. So that's helpful because a lot of people like a certain style of bra. This is a vintage piece. I just love selling vintage. This is a sweater, but look at the buttons on this. There are little watering cans with sunflowers. They're so cute. Uh, the brand is didn't really mean much to me, but it's Sweater Loft. It's a size medium. And this is like double knitted or something. It's really thick if you can see the inside. And the back just has sunflowers on it. It's kind of heavy. I think it's mostly the buttons because there's four of those sunflower buttons. Uh, let's see. This is a dress by Torrid. I usually don't get this many dresses, so I'm excited about that. It's a size 1 in Torrid, which I looked up as like a 14-16 it's a bodycon sweater dress comes for this for like 30 to 40 i think so i'm gonna put some screenshots in here of some of these comps and things that you all can see okay let's see next i picked this up also based on style it's a sweater vest with like this beach scene on it i know sweater vests are in right now so i'm hoping this will do well i don't know anything about the brand it's a size large made in the usa but it's just a fun print. And then on the back, it has the little beach chair in the knit. I don't really know what to expect for that. I just photographed it. So um, when I list it, I'll try to look up comps, but it's really hard with vintage items. This I got also based on style. It's a really fun sweater vest for Halloween. It's already got a lot of attention. The brand's called a uh, toffee apple. It's a size extra large. The back just has one little jack-o'-lantern up there. I've got it listed, I think, for 35 which is probably reaching, I'm hoping to get around 25 or so. This is Chico's, which I like to sell. It's a very good bread and butter for me. Size 2, which is, I think, like in a large in Chico's. But it's a nice coat, like overcoat. And then when I got home, I noticed it's missing a button, which is a shame because the buttons are very specific. They've got like the snowflake on them. But... I checked the pockets and the extra buttons in there. So I'm excited about that. My aunt can also sew that on for me. I can sew on a button, but she doesn't mind to help me out. So anyway, the back, it's all very, it's a very pretty jacket, like I said, and Chico's does so well for me. So I'm gonna have her fix that as well. She just fixed a pair of mother jeans for me, which um, will be in one of my what sold video because it sold the next day. I got them in a thread up a denim box and the only problem was one of the belt loops had just come unstitched she stitched that back on and they sold for $60 right away I probably could have got more if they were regular denim but these were white jeans and I know they're not really in season right now so I just took the $60 when I only had a dollar in them this um the brand is called Miss Dorby I think it's vintage this is a six petite but I love the retro like 50s wife housewife vibe of this. I just think it's so cute. I wish it was my size because I would wear it. But it's just green polka dot. It's pretty fun. It could make a good house Halloween costume if you wanted to be a housewife. <laughs> this is not a special brand. I got it because it was half off and I'm trying to put some sweaters in my closet. It's Maurice's. Maurice's does well for me. It sells usually pretty fast. It's just this pretty little cow neck sweater. Nothing too exciting. Maurice's does well for me though. It usually sells pretty fast. Not for a lot of money, but we like the bread and butter. This is an Anthropology. Uh, it says Chino by Anthropology and they're size 33 relaxed. So a good size. They're like this pink. They're actually more faded pink than they look in the camera. And then they've got the tuxedo stripe down them. 
pair of chinos. I think a 33 is a 16. I guess that's 16. So, I haven't looked up comps on a lot of this, but I'll try to put it on the screen. This was a really fun find. Um, it's a vintage Allen Jackson Harley Davidson t-shirt. Um, it's from 1993, if you see. There's a little date down here at the bottom, but it's in Roman numerals, so I'm not going to bore you with that. Here's the tag. It's Fruit of the Loom, made in the USA, size extra large. It's from his A Lot About Living, Little About Love tour. And it's kind of cool because it looks like two t-shirts on here. And down here, I flipped the cup up on this so you could see. I don't know if you would call this a single stitch or what you would call it. I saw one had been on auction on eBay and it went for about $40 or something, but that one was new at tags. Mine's definitely been worn, so I don't know if that makes the value more or less if they've been worn. This is Eddie Bauer. It's a good outdoor brand. It's definitely not high-end like Patagonia, more along the lines of Columbia. But it's a size 10 and it's a wool blend. But it's this really cool, completely wool, uh, wool looking long maxi skirt with a front slip. And I know a lot of people who dress modestly like to wear long skirts even in the winter. So um, they might want a good warm wool skirt. I'm not sure. It has a style number in there. So I'm going to look it up by that. Next is, uh, this is just by Joan Fabrics, but I got this little pea. Halloween costume with a little peapod hat. It's a size uh, zero to nine months. I don't know. If it doesn't sell, I can put my baby in this. So I might just do that. It could be a cute little peapod. This is another vintage shirt. Um, it's not a single stitch, but it's still really fun. It says, aren't you scared? And it's got the orange M&M &M on it. It's also a size extra large and it's vintage, like I said. It's got a little tiny hole right here, but otherwise it's in good shape, other than the graphic being cracked, but usually that just adds to the character. I haven't, I haven't looked up comps on a lot of this stuff, so I'm sorry. This is Loft, which I don't usually pick up, but these are really nice. They're black, and the style is um, curvy high waist flare crop. So they're curvy, they're high waisted, they're obviously a flare and a crop. And they've got the raw hem, and they're a size 8. I think these will be a good mover. They'll be really cute for fall. This is a Talbot skirt. Here's Talbot's. Another good bread and butter for me, size 8. Um, it's a plaid uh, career skirt, like to the knee. It's a wool blend. It's really nice filling. Like I said, it's just a nice plaid. I can't think of what you call that plaid right now. Having a brain spaz, I guess. This is Gap, which, like I said, not the best, but this is a size 33, and it is new with tags. It was $60. It's a denim skirt, and I, I do sell a lot. Okay, that's gross. That's a bug. I'm in my basement, like, thing right now. Anyway, this is a Gap denim skirt, and it's got the raw edge. Size 33, so I think that's a 16. Really nice, and like I said, I do sell a lot of the modest skirts because I know people are always looking for them. These were half off. The pink barbs were half off, and I haven't listed these yet. These are Pendleton. They say they're size 6, and these are a wool. Um, let's see here. Either a wool blend or 100% wool. 98% virgin wool, and then some spandex. It's hard to tell on camera, but they've got a really nice check pattern. And I'm going to have to measure them. They're really cool, like a wide leg pleat. I think they're more like a size, maybe a size 2 modern because I think that's a vintage tag but I will measure them and they're very tall so maybe a tall size I'll do the inseam as well okay we're almost to the bottom here I'm just gonna do a quick haul for you guys um this is Chico's Zenergy which is like their active brand or offshoot this is a size zero and it actually says uh size four six underneath it it's just a really pretty t-shirt. I got it because it was half off. And I do like selling the Chico's active wear. And just about any Chico's moves pretty good for me. This one is just a fun sweatshirt for Christmas. It's got Santa and the reindeer. And it's vintage, of course. And it has the painted on snow thing. I did notice once I got it home, which a lot of these vintage sweatshirts have, somebody got the cuff kind of dirty. Um... I'll just wash this. If it doesn't come out, then I'll just sell it as is. And this is a size XL. 
A lot of vintage stuff, people expect to have stains, so if you can get the stains out, I guess that's just an added bonus. This is another piece um, by Chico's. This one's a size 2, which this one says 12, 14. And it's like a mock neck, just a stripe. But it kind of feels really stretchy and just comfortable, so it would be good for a base layer. Stripes really hurt my eyes on camera, <laughs> but that's what it looks like. Just a couple things left. These are some vintage golf shoes. The only pair of shoes I got. This Goodwill prices up shoes. I probably should have left these behind, honestly, but they were just too cool. The brand is called Robert Giorgio, and these are a size 7, which they may be women's size 7. They're in the men's section, but these look like they would fit me, and I wear a 7.5, so I'll have to do some research on that. It's called Tags, Tags Golf is what's on this little... Uh, fringe part and it has some stuff on the bottom I don't know I'm gonna look into these a little more but if I can't sell them it's not too bad three dollars and 85 cents those are actually ten dollars but last thing this is the brand um, I don't know how to say it but it's made in Italy it's a wool blend size medium I think I don't know much about it but it's a really pretty cardigan and it feels like it'd be warm it's only 30% wool, so maybe it wouldn't be too scratchy. Anyway, that's all I got, you guys. I hope you'll enjoy this haul. I'm going to go thrift shopping again this week. My mom and I go out once a week to thrift shop. I have three kids under the age of four, so she likes to watch them for me and give me a break, and she knows I love to thrift, so hopefully I can get out another haul for you guys soon. Have a great night!